Hello, so I just kind of am going through the uh, textbook and I actually found an interesting error. And some of you are likely gonna encounter this error. And I thought this, this would be a good learning opportunity to sort of show you a little bit about how us big time developers try and figure stuff out. So um, the error starts happening on page 32 as you start running through the demonstration uh, in, the, um, in the book. So let me uh, just take you to my second screen here. All right, so here I got Visual Studio, and by now, uh, if you were following the exercises, which I really encourage you to do, uh, you would have um, gone ahead and run this. Of course, it's open up on my other screen, so let me just bring this up. There it is. Okay, so right now it's just opening up the uh, the the uh, the finance. What's this called? Finan financial calculations is what it's opened up. It doesn't really matter if you're going to follow along. It doesn't really matter what your screen looks like here. It just matters that. Uh, up here in solutions, you've got financial calculations open up. Now, at this point, you, if you've been following along, uh, and even if you haven't, if you even try to just open up any of these files, um, I'll remind you, by the way, that um, uh, the book allows you to download these solutions. You'll see them, um, they're right here in book applications and chapter one. Uh, that's the guy that we actually, uh, we opened to get to this, all right? So anyway, so we got this guy. And you're supposed to build the application. That's a great moment when it kind of converts uh, this, this uh, source code over here to um, the IL code, intermediate uh, uh, language, the intermediate language code. So anyway, so we're gonna go and we're gonna build it. So I go build and I haven't done anything. I haven't changed it. I haven't done anything to this thing. So for a student, I've literally just taken the file and, and built it. And right away, it doesn't work. I get an error and I freak out because I'm a student and I've never touched C sharp before, or, or I'm a guy that's been in the industry for like almost 40 years and I haven't uh, seen this error before. I'm kind of going, oh, geez, what's going on? So first of all, you take a deep breath, you don't panic, you have a look at what the actual error is. It says, couldn't process file from main dot rex. So first of all, I'm going to look over here and see where firm main is. There it is. It's a form because they're using that Hungarian notation. So it's form and it's the main form. All right. So they couldn't do that due to it being an internet or restricted zone or having a mark of the web on the file. Mark of the web. It says remove the mark of the web if you want to process these files. It doesn't tell me how to do that, but it says to do that. So you know what I did is I went ahead and I Googled remove mark of the web and I got this guy right away turns out this guy is also an instructor and he actually gave step-by-step -step instructions you don't have to freeze it or anything like that I put this uh actual article out uh right now in my burgeoning link section so it's right there and I'm basically saying if you can get this there by the way it's not going to look like that for you here's what it's going to look like for you always make sure I uh change that, that's what it's going to look like remove the mark of the web and that'll basically get here get to to this. So what I'm going to do is right now in front of you all, I'm going to remove the mark of the web. So personally, what I would do at this point is I would come completely out. It says in the instructions to just close the solution, but you know, sometimes Visual Studio is remembering things. So I'm just going to basically bail out. Obviously, well, this shouldn't actually, um, as you'll see, it won't actually happen with your projects that you build, but if you're going to use stuff from the book, you're not likely going to change it anyway. I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll find out. So I'm going to basically go exit. So that's gone. Yay. Now, uh, what it says here in this article is it says close the project. Uh, by the way, why is there an error? I'm not going to really explain it too much other than saying that um, it might have something to do with the fact that we're now using Visual Studio 2019, not uh, 2015. Right. So anyway, um, it says close the project, find the file in Windows Explorer. Well, the file is likely going to be here. And there it is. Firm main wizards. All right, so we look at that. It says right click and go to properties. We right click and we go to properties and there's a properties there. And then it's got a nice little image here. We see the similar image here. Let's actually uh, minimize you for a second. And it's basically saying uh, that um, we might wanna basically unblock it. Basically what's going on by the way is that your uh, Visual Studio is trying to protect you uh, from maybe some malicious code that, that someone else had. So it knew that this program is actually coming from another computer and it doesn't trust the other computer, right? 
So, uh, so the Windows operating system is blocking it. So I could go unblock. Now, before you cut to anything that crazy, what you're going to do, of course, is you're going to back up the file. So you're going to click on it. You're going to, this is not the instructions. You're going to go control V, control, sorry, control C, control V. That's going to create a quick copy. And sometimes what I like to do is instead of just having it copy, I like to go and change it to backup. You do whatever you want. You do you. If you're happy with it being copy, that's fine. Anyway, so I'm going to right click on firm main weeks. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to say, hey, unblock. And I click on OK. Right? Nothing's really changed. It's great. So let's go ahead. I'm going to open up the studio now again. And again, I close down the studio. Uh, this is concept of caching. And so I basically said, hey, I don't want you to remember anything. When I shut it down, the entire studio left memory, and I don't have to worry about it remembering anything. And then I click on the financial solutions. Uh, I went to recent projects. Obviously, I could have just opened it up from its source. I got to wait for this thing to be uh, initializing. This makes me really yearn for the Python days. And so up, up we go. And then it uh, looks like it's ready. It's all loaded. Everything looks good. We're going to go build. And we're going to go build solution. And right down here, uh, it's still mad because why? Oh, <laughs> my backup is now blocking me. That's sweet. All right, that's good. My backup's blocking me. All right, well, you know what? Some of you would have encountered that too. We're gonna leave. And now uh, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take that backup and we're going to remove it. I'm gonna go control X for cut and I'm gonna throw it out. Uh, boy, I just, I just want to inner piece here. I'm just going to, I'm just trying to save it just in case there's something hideously wrong. So I'm pulling it right out of the path, right? It's right out of the path now, right? So, so I, I think it should be safe. Let's go back in again. Uh, you know, those of you that sat through my Python, uh, videos will appreciate what's going on in my mind right now. But anyway, so up it comes, we wait. Uh, looks like it's loaded. I'm kind of just waiting for this, this uh, little thing to go away. Good deal. I'm going to go build. I'm going to go build solution. And this is looking much more promising. And looks like it built. It succeeded. It didn't fail. Everything's looking good. And now just for giggles, because uh, now we're, uh, that was uh, number 14, by the way, on page 32. Now to run the application, I can click on this little button here. Um, which is going to run it, and now it's up and running. All right, and you know, just so you know, you could have just gone straight to try to run it because if you run something that's not built, it'll build it and then run it. But you know what? Um, uh, you're better off in life if you try to build first and then run. It. All right, so that's all I got for this. Um, I just thought this was a good, uh, good learning um, uh, experience uh, for all of us, and uh, and that's it. That's all we got.